to experiment on it, I experiment all the time. And when I'm, say, using the material, in this case I'm using organza, the uh, ribbon. Now, the ribbon is obviously, you know, it's there. Now, this is, I've dyed this fiery brown, it was white, just dyed it fiery brown, a nice colour. Now, a few weeks ago, uh, there was a fly, landed on my desk while I was dying, it was called a lacewing. And someone asked me about, could I tie some like the lacewing? And I was looking at the wing in this fly, uh, it was very, well it's like a type of fibre like this, it's got this very shine on it and the organza ribbon has that nice effect. Uh, so while I was tying, I'll show you some nymphs, organza nymphs. In this case I call it a pheasant tail nymph because it's in the colour, that's why I dye it the fiery brown. I decided to make a sedge pattern, a brown caddis, and it's there. Now this is it tied with the organza itself all the way on the wing, but it's too heavy. It sinks really well, which is useless for a dry fly. But though I was, I really like the the, the reflection you get from the the organza itself. So what I've done here is combined CDC feather dyed the same colour. Now you can try this, mess about with it. Now I see that's about that's what fly tying is all about. So you can experiment. So this is like basically take two. And to me this works, this floats really well. It's got a nice mix. Now we're ready to tie our fly. The hook I'm using, this is just a size 14 barbless dry fly hook. Thread. Thread's just a uni thread. 8 and that brown. Just going to run the wax through it. Get it started. Start at the eye. Just run your thread down. Basically, you come to the end of the, the shank just before it comes round the bend. Now, the ganza, what we do once we've obviously cut away one edge and then removed the long or the running fibre because along the ribbon, we're left with our basically what looks like a hackle. Then we trim this the length of the body, tie this on. I spoke obviously if you do that. It's the turn to hold. And then get my dyed brown or fiery brown C D C feather. We tie this in by the tip. Now I'm gonna have the feather facing myself or the front of the feather. So the natural curve will go towards the back as I wind up. And again catch this on. Nice and tight, tie both in. You're looking at least two thirds of the way up to that point there. Let's throw away any excess. Let's watch your thread. There we are. Now, what I'm going to do here is wind both together. So, what I'm going to do is then fold fibres, both the, the ribbon, the organza rib, and the CDC, and then just work my way up, draw them back as a wind. You're looking, obviously you want to cover the body, now when you're obviously taking it round, you can change hands, just punch the hook and the material, keeping it nice and tight. Wind up. Any fibres going forward, obviously draw them back. You near the tip here, just draw the CDC. You need the CDC, which will help float the fly. And you're mixing in the the nice uh, the fibre from the the ribbon, and obviously get both together and tie them in. Trim. When you put wax on your thread at this point, make sure you get plenty of grip and when you're tying this in it's not going to pull out and tidy up. Now what I'm going to use here is a, some velcro. I'm going to brush these fibres. So they're all twisted by winding them up so you want to brush them out. And 
There we go. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tie off. It's going to a couple of turns or so to finish it. Uh, not to finish the fly, but just so that I can work in the, the body and the wing. Much easier to do this when it's off the, the base. Now, first thing I'm going to do is trim underneath. There we go, and then remove. I've trimmed away. You want to shape the wing. So that's there is given the, your body. So you've got your mix of CDC and the organza. The wing shape. Best way to do it is just to pull it together best you can. Slightly flatten it so that you can see the wing. And then you want to so, so it's a longer taper cut on the top and a short steep one at the back underneath. You quite like and see what it looks like. You will have, you will miss one or two, so don't worry about it. I don't think think the fish will mind too much. And C D C you can trim it. It does work just trimmed. I trim it a lot so especially when I want the, the stem of the C D C to show. Put it also flying back in the vase. Uh, make sure it's sitting right. Tighten up. Now we put my thread back on. Same thread. Two, three turns to start. And then what we're going to do here is tie in some horns. Now I'm going to use some bronze mallard. You can use whatever you like. There we go, some bronze mild. Now we need two. Just make sure the ends are lined up. Tie them forward. On top. Come down. To the wing, and then we can break these away. That's for horns. Hackle. Just using a saddle hackle. This one here. It's a, a furnace. So take one of the hackles out. Pair the stem so that we can reveal enough to tie in. Make sure you wax your thread at this point. And then head down towards the horns. Now you want the hackle to wind with the underside facing towards the eye. And then we're looking at doing a turn in front of the other, just working my way down. And then what we can do is a couple of ways you can tie off. And this is the, the strongest. Is to run the thread up straight as you can. Back down, just ignore the hackle at this point. Bring the thread to the front, a couple of turns. And then we can come in with finish. Which you don't catch any of these fibres. Tighten a knot, trim away the thread, and then we can. Now, uh, times I just break it off, but I'll just trim it away because I don't want you pulling them out. And there we go. And this is our experiment, something we can mess about with. We've got the obviously the qualities of both. The CDC obviously to help float the fly, but in within that we've got that nice shine that we get from the, the organza, and uh, it's a nice fibre. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and that's just a brown caddis. All we have to do is finish it off with a bit of varnish into the head. You have to have fun tying your own flies. You've got to experiment. You will make a lot of mistakes, I do, all the time. Uh, trial and error. And sometimes you get something out of it. This might come to nothing, but I've enjoyed tying it, and that's what it's all about. So.